If you're a video editor, I want you to grab a pen and paper and write down every Premiere Pro shortcut you don't know yet. The next 20 shortcuts are absolute essentials for video editing. Let's start with the ultimate essentials, adding a cut. If you press Ctrl plus K, Premiere will add a cut to your clip. I actually changed this shortcut to C and I'll show you how to adjust shortcuts at the end of the video. Number two, ripple trim previous to play at. Let's say you want to remove this part of the clip. You can trim it manually and drag everything against the other clip. Or instead, you can move the playhead to the moment you want to add a cut and then press Q. This will delete everything in front of the playhead and all of the clips on the right will snap back in time. 3. Ripple trim next to playhead. This actually does the exact same thing but on the right side of the playhead. I actually use these constantly when removing silences or bad takes in a studio recording. 4. Taking a snapshot of your program monitor. To do that, simply press Press Ctrl plus Shift plus E on your keyboard. Then in this window, I always like to choose TIFF because this file type is lossless. This means you won't lose any quality. 5. Insert a clip from the project panel into the timeline. To do that, select a clip you want to import and hit the comma sign on your keyboard. Boom! It will import on the location of your playhead. Number 6. Change speed and duration of a clip. To do that, press Ctrl plus R when having a clip selected. In this window, you can make a clip play fast faster or slower, or perhaps reverse it. Number 7. Match frame. Have you ever lost an audio clip which belongs to a part of your video? Then simply select the video and hit F on your keyboard. Now in the source monitor, the clip is selected. You can now choose to drag the video or audio of the selection back into the timeline. 8. Rate stretch tool. If you press R, you can use the rate stretch tool to make clips play faster or slower. I actually use this constantly when synchronizing Premiere's screen recording with my studio recording. 9. Select clip at playhead. If you press D on your keyboard, you will select the clip on the playhead's location. Number 10. This shortcut will save you years on trying to learn how to edit. The Premiere Pro and Advanced Course Bundle is the ultimate shortcut to learning how to edit, instead of spending years trying to figure out everything yourself. Take advantage of this deal right now and learn everything you need to know in just a few hours. Link down below. Number 11. Enable snap. Have you ever felt like your clips don't snap to other clips anymore? You probably accidentally hit the S key on your keyboard. Hitting the S key will disable or enable the snap feature, which is the little magnet on top. Having it enabled will allow you to snap your clips against each other. 12. Close panels you don't need. To do that, move your cursor to the panel tab and press the scroll wheel on your mouse. There you go. 13. Replace clips. If you want to replace this clip in the timeline with another one, just hold down Alt and drag a video on top of your clip. It will then fully replace it. 14. Mark a selection. If you hit the in and out keys, you can make a selection in your timeline. This is useful if you want to loop a section of your video. Number 15. Render effects into out. If you hit enter, Premiere will render your video or your selection so that it's much easier to play back without lag. 16. Move a track up or down. To do that, simply select it, hold down Alt and use the arrow keys up or down to move them. Super super simple. 17. Copy and paste attributes. Let's say you want to copy all the motion properties and effects from this clip and then paste them on this one. Then first select the left one and hit Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now select the second clip and hit Ctrl plus Alt plus V. In this window, you can choose which attributes you want to paste onto the second clip. Number 18. The Track Select tool. Press A on your keyboard to enable the Track Select tool. If you then click, everything on the right of your cursor will be selected in the timeline. If you hold on Shift, only one track will be selected. If you first hold Shift and then press A, you will be able to select everything on the left side. 19. Duplicating Clips. To do that, simply hold down Alt and drag a clip one track up. There you go a duplicate. Number 20. Adjust your shortcuts. Go to the edit menu on top and on the bottom find keyboard shortcuts. In this window you can search for a specific action, for example add edit. This means setting a cut in your clip. You can then click the current shortcut and remove it. Then click the empty space and type in for example C. When you're done, you can always save your shortcut layout as a preset and you'll find it back in here. Next you're gonna learn some neat editing tricks right here in the next lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.